Hello everybody, I'm JB, and I have just completed my very first mushroom farm. So let's take a look at how it works. Not too complex, it's basically the same exact thing as my wheat harvesting machine. Uh, if you haven't seen that, boom, link right there. Click the link to see the wheat harvesting machine. But don't click it yet. Watch this video first, of course. So this is where we will be collecting our mushrooms. Um... The way this works is mushrooms grow. It's got to be very dark, though, for the mushrooms to spread. Um, if you have a very dark room, you also have monsters spawning. So it's not like I can go into this dark room and collect my mushrooms because monsters are going to beat me up if I go in there. So the way we handle that is we come up here. Now this mushroom farm, which is underneath me right now, and you can probably hear the monsters in there. It works just like the wheat farm in the sense that I'm going to flood it. It's going to pop all the mushrooms out and flow them towards the collection point we were just at. Um, so it's also going to have to carry the monsters to that collection point. So I put some lava there to kill them. But we'll go have a look inside. First of all, let's flood this. And let's see how we're doing for yield. And then we'll take a look at some other inner workings of how this works. So there's three channels. Let's flood them. This is only the second time I'm harvesting this place. The first time I think I got about 30 red and 30 brown mushrooms. I think I hear some monsters dying in there already. We'll have to let this run for a second. And here come the mushrooms already. Look at that. Yes. Yeah. And some loot. Because I'm also flooding the monsters into a lava trap. Which... If you've ever seen my uh, Lava Trap video, boom, there's a link for that. Watch that later, though. That, that video is going to show you how to build the Lava Trap that's in here. Uh, very simple stuff. You may already know how, but let's let this flood for a little bit. Hopefully, we'll get all the monsters killed. See how we did for mushrooms. It's dark and scary outside. Okay, that looks like that's about it. I have no mushrooms in my inventory. I look very terrifying right here. Um, so let's pick this up and see how we did. Okay, over here, brown. So browns, we got another 26 brown. Not bad. Uh, and we got another 18. Wow, last time I got 40 brown. Or sorry, 40 red. Only 18 this time. I suppose, I suppose the the brown overtook a bit of the territory that time, and we will put our bone. I think I might have even collected an arrow right there. Now, let's go have a look at the inside. If we can get there without being killed. And look at that, ladies and gentlemen. By the work on magic, it is daytime. So. Let's go stop the flow of water, stop the flooding of the mushroom farm, and then I will take you inside and we will have a look exactly how it works. Now, keep in mind, uh, we might f may find ourselves in a combat situation here. Uh, not the problem, though, if you are simply farming this, because the way this is set up, I never, ever have to go in that room. It's just as simple as any time I want mushrooms, I come and flood the room and see what it's got to offer. There is what I'll call seed mushrooms inside, but we'll see those. Just a very nice aspect so that I never have to go in the dark room and uh, get into a little battle. But to show you guys the inner workings, I shall go inside. And there's a creeper over there. Let's see if we can do this quickly and without destroying things. So here's my entrance. And there's probably going to be some baddies. Okay, we look safe. Let's get some torches down for a little tour. Go, go, go. Okay. So, these are the seed mushrooms. When I flood this room, the water comes out of here. Here. And here, of course. And it flows down this channel. And any monsters... Standing in the channel. 
um, are pushed into this water flow, killed by the lava. And the ca that's the same, the same case for each one of these channels. Um, some of you might be saying, well, how are you going to farm these? I don't really care about farming these, to tell you the truth. Because like you saw, you know, I'm getting 20, 30, 40 of each mushroom um, every time I harvest it. And that's just more than I'll ever need, really. Um, so, yeah, this is the inner workings, you know, very simple, pretty groovy. Uh, if you're not sure how the lava trap works, the link for the video. And this is basically the same exact setup I have for the wheat farm. I already told you guys that, though. You have the links to go check that out. So let's seal this up. We'll go have a quick look at, um, oh, there's a creeper. Oh, <laughs> what? Oh, you got to kill something that looks like that. Oh, and you're dead. Thank you for the gunpowder. <laughs> that creeper looked awesome. So let's go look. This building was so gigantic because it was all sort of trial and error as I was creating this thing. I wasn't sure exactly how it was going to work. So I was left with a lot of extra area. This being one, which is going to be my wheat and sugarcane farm. And then we also have a nice little roof area here. Where we can see cool things. What? You don't recognize this server? Well, you wouldn't. You've never seen it before. Since 1.6.2, I think, is when I made the first video. And all my mods broke. I decided, you know what? Let me go start a new world here with no mods and see what I could create. So, I've been, as I use the phrase all the time, cracking out a bit. And me and a couple buddies have built a rather large... Sort of a, I guess it's sort of a city we've got going here. But anyway, I don't know if this server's going to stick around, what we're going to do once uh, we get Bucket back on this server. So this will be the wheat farm, blah, blah, blah. Pretty cool stuff. The mushroom farming is obviously a whole new thing. This was just my first test. Um... Obviously, mushrooms will grow on anything. That's why I have stone floors in there. And originally, I thought it had to be. I saw some people say it had to be damp. I'm not sure exactly what that means. I don't know what damp area is in Minecraft. So I figured maybe it had to have some water. I ran a couple tests uh, trying to spread mushrooms in a room with water, room without water. It spread equally, it seemed, in both rooms. Doesn't seem to matter. If anybody knows any better tricks for farming mushrooms, I'll be working on this thing and tweaking this thing for a while. But I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time.